In sickle cell disease or sickle cell anemia, the red blood cells are not normal. They are typically red blood cells are round and they're very pliable and they can squeeze through small capillaries very easily. And they also have this beautiful hemoglobin molecule attached that allows for the iron to attach and the oxygen to be carried. In sickle cell disease, these red blood cells have a different shape. They are not pliable and round as they usually are. They are sickle-shaped, sickle so more of a half-moon type of shape. They're also stiffer and they're longer. So they have a harder time getting through these blood vessels and specific, specifically the small capillaries. And then when a few of these sickle cells clump together in small capillaries, it can form a thrombus. And then these, this thrombus, this blood clot, prevents the blood from flowing to whatever distal part that blood vessel is feeding and therefore the patient will have symptoms. So sickle cell um, crisis or anemia can be really, really significant because these microthrombi can cause the blood to be prevented from flowing to a different to a certain body part and then um, the patient can end up with an MI, with a PE, with a cerebrovascular accident, with any kind of um, decreased blood flow to, to the extremity and eventually this tissue hypoxia will need to necrosis. Please follow um, me on YouTube and check out the full video on sickle cell anemia.